Hello, and welcome back to Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster. This is your ever lovable host, Shadowblade730, and um, let's go exploit that mystic key and gain some treasure. Yeah, first off, um, there was a room I didn't um, show off here in the Elven Castle. Um, yeah, there is an actual treasure room. And since we have the mystic key, let's go open the door and get our treasure. Okay, where is it? Somewhere around here. Ugh. This is why I really should have did a playthrough of this. Hold on. Okay, wait up. There we go. Let's go out here. Head up. Up around here, and there we go. Yeah, earlier you couldn't have opened that door. Here we get a mithril hammer. Very nice. And some money. And some bronze gloves. Very good. Look at the bronze gloves here. Yeah, you see, he's gonna take a little, way, a little bit away from our evasion, but I'm not really worried about evasion for him. I'm gonna be worried about him tanking. Yeah, look how good that Mithril Hammer is. That's really good for our White Mage. Alright, and next on our list of places to go, let's get in our ship and head north to Cornelia. But first, yeah, we got some random encounters. Why not? Yeah, it looks like I forgot to heal again. It's like this ongoing habit for me in this playthrough. Oh well. Wow, look at the damage. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna get much actual um, story progression here, but we are going to gain a lot of good treasures here. There we go. And see, uh, yeah, let's get our healing spell on. We're running a little low. There we go. One more. There we go. That should be fine. Head north. Ugh, wow. Ow. Hold on. Oh, I used all my Thundar spells. Crap Ola. That sucks. Well, this is gonna be a long fight. <laughs> yeah, this is one of those points in the game where the world really starts to open up yet again. And you start to really accumulate a lot of really, really good treasure. Unfortunately, in the NES and the original Final Fantasy Origins for the PS1 version of this game, you would already have, most probably, the Silver Sword, or two Silver Swords at this point. And they're just really better than anything you can find. And it just makes all the treasure you're really going to get here kind of moot, in a way. So, this is nice, you know. You don't have to worry about that. And it really makes the treasure you're getting just a lot more important. As opposed to just like, well, I'm just going to sell this and get a little extra gill and see what I can go for. Here, here they actually have a purpose for it. So I like it. All right. A little bit more XP, a little bit more guilt. Alright, let's go ahead into Castle Cornelia. Because remember, uh, one of the elves said that they hid some treasure here. I think the, um, the nitro powder, I believe. Or maybe other treasure. Let's find out. Yeah, they have a bunch. They have like three treasure rooms here. It's so nice. Let's see. Mithril knife, really good. Uh, saber, eh. A mithril knife, uh, if you have a black mage really good for it. And Saber's really good for the thief. But in the chest, we get the Nitro Powder, which that one little dwarf was looking for out in Mount Duragar. It's gonna help us progress. Not intent. And uh, some more iron armor that I really can't use. If I'm not mistaken, one would have used iron armor is the um, warriors, so if you had two warriors, yeah, it's free. Otherwise, we're just gonna sell it. Alright. Speaking of heading out, if you remember, there were three other rooms in the Temple of Fiends, or whatever they call it in this version of the game. Uh, two of them were locked uh, with Mr. Kiki. That's why I really didn't worry about it. And the only one I really wanted was the one with the leather cap anyway. So now that we have that Mr. Key, let's go open those doors. Said north over here. Monsters shouldn't be that bad. Remember, this is all beginning level of the game monsters, so... You should more than be able to handle these fellows. All right, there we go. I will be wanting to, on our way back, stop at um, the Cordelian Inn. It's the cheapest one, and we need to heal up anyway, so... Yep, instead of heading that way, let's head over here and open these doors. Oh, no enemy. Zombies. Zombie apocalypse? No, not even. Not even. These guys are actually pretty easy. Take care of him here. And we got him. There we go. 
Ooh. Oh, here we get the Rune Blade. Yeah, in other versions of the game, there's actually a fixed encounter, I believe, with some gargoyles in front of this. Which I'm guessing they took out? I don't know why, but okay. I mean, I, I welcome it. One less encounter I have to go through, but... Uh, Rune Blade, I believe you can equip that on either your Warrior or your Red Mage. And uh, it's not bugged in this version, so it does exploit a class type, which are Spellcasters. So that's pretty nice. But also, it's just really, really much better than the broadswords we have. Alright, got him. Oh, we have some Echo Grass in case we're ever muted, which I don't think is going to happen. Yeah, they, yeah, it's a Were Buster. Um, that's actually good against the Were type, which there are a couple of, like werewolves and a couple other species that are technically Were monsters. But not really one that you're really going to exploit, but as you can tell, it is way better than the broadsword we had. So let's just exploit that. I mean, we didn't pay anything for him, and it's just a just a solid upgrade. Not as good as the silver sword would be, but you know what? Hey, I will take what I can get. Oh, a Gigas Worm. Yeah, you can run into these fellows here, but you only run into like one of them. Maybe two, so I won't worry about it. Alright, see, open this door. Yeah, this door would have been um, just a regular door, so you, you didn't have to actually have a mystical key to open this. But the treasure here is really not that great. And I was more focused on getting what I needed. Yeah, here we get a potion and an intent. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, when I first came through here, I was more focused on getting what I needed to go fight Garland. And that was really it. Now let's see if we can wipe this part, this crew out. Hey, we might be able to do it. We might be able to do this. Hey, there we go. Yep. Oh, I'm going to be so glad when I get out of here. These monsters aren't really giving me anything. Right, should take out these two fools. There we go. Alright, let's head out of here. Hopefully I remember to stay in the hitting. Oh, black widows. Great. Poison monsters. How oh, I love poison monsters. Please don't poison me. Thank you. Thank you. I just really, really don't like poison monsters. And as you can tell, there's a dog outside that does not want to stop barking. Apparently he found something outside he doesn't like. Yeah. Gotta love he living out here in the country. Those frogs chirping. Good quiet night. All kinds of wildlife outside. Tell it's springtime now. Oh. You know what? Nope. I want to make it through. I don't need... To. Yeah, gosh. I wish I would have stopped. Oh. Big eyes. I hate big eyes. Don't paralyze me. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. That could have paralyzed somebody. That could make things really, really more difficult. Yeah, that's one thing I really don't like about big guys. They can paralyze, and that's a really annoying status ailment. The only way to actually get rid of it in this game is just let it pass its course. The only good thing is it doesn't um, continue to affect post-combat. So once you get through the combat, it's okay. But during combat, ugh. Just really annoying. I mean, with every other status element, you can cure it. Paralysis, not so much. Kill this last Sahagan. Oh, come on now. There we go. Got him. Alright. Proceed our way to Mount Durigal. Durigal. Lally ho! Oh, come on now. This is just getting out of hand. Get rid of this fellow. Ow, quit it. I should do it. There we go. And one left. Now you can tell their base is kind of high. We're not really getting as many hits as we were, so. There we go. Got him. Alright, let's go dock here. Head to Durgo. Okay, what we got here? More war wolves, really? Woo! Man! There we go. Let's head south. Let's see what we got here. Yep, there's my Durgar. Really, game? Really? Right at the freaking entrance? Man. It's just not my day. 
<laughs> Man, that's such good damage. Let's see if Ted can do it. Yes, he can. All right. Ted inside Mount Durgar. Open their treasure room and see if we can't give that one little dwarf. Um, I think I believe in the original version his name was Narek. I don't know if he's named here. Yep, it's Narek. Let's give him that nitro powder, see if we can blow something up. There we go. Set the detonator. Oh, yeah. Ty Smith What are you standing around for? Uh, nice. Why is it that all dwarves have Scottish accents? I don't know. I guess it works, though. And kaboom! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, kaboom! Now the way is open. Now we can explore the entire world and dock anywhere that has a dock. Unfortunately, there are no places in the northern continents that have a docking place, docking location. But there's a way we can kind of get around that. I'll be showing that later. But yay, there we go. Thanks a lot, Narek. Uh, thank you for doing that for me. So you just gonna roll in right now? All right, you little pyromaniac. Ooh, big treasure room. Let's see, you get the tent. Here, you get the great helm. Good little upgrade for Ted, dude. Watch this. Yeah. He's a solid tank now. Here, the Worm Killer. Another good sword. It's actually a little better than the two swords I got. Ooh, Mithromel. That's really good. Alright. Actually, yeah. Let's give him the Worm Killer because it actually exploits dragon types, which is... Just, they're, they tend to be a little bit more, I think. But we're going to equip him with the Rune Blade because they are a lot more... Yeah, and look at the look at the defense boots. That's just so much better for a white for a Red Mage. Um, but yeah, there would be a lot more um, magic type users type enemies than where enemies where enemies are kind of rare in this game and yeah there are a couple of drag types i don't think we're running any dragon types anytime soon in the original nes version they it was rumored that snakes were dragon types but i don't know a lot of that stuff in that game was bugged so i don't even think it would make much of a difference but since we got all that treasure if we can make it back this time i will stop at canaria <laughs> Woo. Man, it's so good. Now, see, here's the thing. Like I was saying earlier, if you were able to get the Silver Surge Swords in other versions of the game, all these weapons you just got would be basically null and void. They'd have done nothing for you. The armor would have been good, especially that Mithril armor on Red Mage. That's just really good. If you don't have a Red Mage, stick it on your fighter. Trust me. Let's head to Canaria and that, that cheap old inn. It's cheap, but hey, a good night's sleep counts in, well as anywhere in this game. All right, shoot. One left. And I'll quit it. Wow, that was almost 200 damage. Way to go, Roger. All right. Dock here. Oh, come on. Really? Ugh. Why you just had to go do that? It's just not fun. Alright, let's head up here. Let's go spend the night. Mosey up to the pub. Get a little nightcap on. Then head to our beds for a good night's rest. Oh, I can't wait to get a good night's rest after today. Today was a very busy day. But hey, we got it. Good refill. Hey. You know what? Let's head south. Yeah. Because there are a couple more places that I will definitely want to go explore. You know what? Since I've got my spells, the heck with it. Time to shock the system with a little Fundara spell. There we go. Come on. Gim. I know you all got to get your shots in. It won't matter when I cast the Dora. Bzz. 
There we go. That made that battle a lot shorter. Go here. Head over to Elfheim. Oh, more Warg Wolves! We gotta take care of these fellas with no problem. There we go. Head over here. There we go. But what treasures awaits us on our second turn to the dastardly, deadly Marsh Cave? Find out next time and let's play Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster. This is your ever lovable host, Shadowblade730. See you fellows next adventure!